I am Rudy, Rudy Rucker, and uh, I'm trying to get some money out of you for this, uh, this crazy book I wrote. Thanks. I have a real thing for spheres. Yes, I know that. The book I'm talking about is called Return to the Hollow Earth. I wrote a first Hollow Earth book about 20 years ago, and I've always wanted to write another one. And this is Return to the Hollow Earth. It's written in this old-fashioned language. The narrator, supposedly, is from 1850, and I found his manuscript, supposedly, or <laughs> supposedly he telepathically sent me his narrative, and it's just, you know, it's just great, total BS, tall tales, really fun adventures. There's some very gnarly creatures in it. Now, this fellow here is called a Shrig. He's a pig about the size of a dinosaur and he's like a shrimp in back. Probably the weirdest are these things, they're called the Wumo. They're like giant sea cucumbers. I've always had a thing for sea cucumber. They live at the center of the Hollow Earth. There's this map of the Hollow Earth. You can see there's a maelstrom at the North Pole, and there's Arfi the dog floating around. And see there's a giant pig or shrig, and a flying nautilus, very deadly. In the middle, that's the Wumo, the giant sea cucumbers, and there's some floating balls of water, and they're sending out rays of light. This is a thing called the plasmosphere. I'm crazy about these. They were popular in the 80s, and now they're making a comeback. And I first saw one while I was writing my original The Hollow Earth, and I'd been wondering how to have light inside the hollow earth because you don't want to put a sun in there or everybody will fall into it. And then I had this idea, well, why not do that? Why don't we have these, these wonderful rays of light that are chaotically dancing out from the center to the, the rind? And that'll light it up really well. And who's sending out the light? Well, it's our friends, the great old ones, the giant sea cucumbers, the Woomo. Another cool thing about the Hollow Earth is that you float around inside there. It's, you're in effect weightless. The gravity cancels out in every direction. I often do paintings while I'm working on a book. And uh, I'm going to show you two. These are the two young lovers in Return to the Hollow Earth. Oh, that's Mason on the left and Sela on the right. Mason's from Virginia, and Sela is from inside the Hollow Earth. There's people that live at the center of the Hollow Earth, and they're black, because being, being in this light kind of crisps you. And these, these people are very revered. They're called the Black Gods. And one of the things they do is ride these, these light tubes. They have these kind of surfboards made out of shell, and they're sky surfers. When the first volume, The Hollow Earth, came out, Mark Laidlaw said, Rudy has written the great American science fiction novel. And this one is even better. We've got the cool old language, we've got Edgar Allan Poe, we've got giant sea cucumbers, we've got love and infidelity, we've got a newborn baby, a nice dog. What more could you want?